What's up, gaming family? It's your girl, Cheyenne, and I'm excited to welcome you back to The Code Zone. In today's video, we will learn how to navigate the Roblox Studio and use basic Roblox tools and parts to build a level in an obby. We have a lot to get to, so let's dive into one of the most popular gaming platforms and get ready to have some fun. So the first thing we need to do is download Roblox Studios onto our computers. So go to www.roblox.com and create a profile by entering our basic information. After that, it will bring you to the home screen where you will be able to see and play other people's games. But we want to create our own game. So select Create from the navigation bar, then select Start Creating. After Roblox Studio installs on your computer, open the application. I'll wait. You done? Good. The first thing you'll see is the starter screen that has all the options to create from various templates and themes. Let's keep it simple and start from a base plate so we can build a unique obby. You can see we have a lot of buttons and options all around the studio. So let's focus on how to move around the virtual world. Click on the screen, UI, or user interface. To zoom in and out of the screen, you can use your keyboard touchpad by moving two fingers from top to bottom. The focus of the zoom depends on where your pointer is on your screen. You can also use your mouse to accomplish the same effect. The other option to move around the virtual world is to use the arrow keys. The left and right keys move you left and right. The up and down keys will zoom you in and out. Why don't we take a quick break to practice moving around? Feel free to hit the pause button. I'll be right here when you get ready to start again. Great, now that we know how to move around, let's start building level one of our futuristic obby. The first step will be to add our very first part. Think of a part like pieces you'll build the world of your obby with. Go to part, then you'll see options for five different shapes. Let's start off with a simple block. You should see a small rectangular gray block in the middle of your screen. Okay, okay, I, I know what you're thinking. It looks a little sad gray, you know, depressing. But you can do a lot with this starting block, okay? Let me show you. To manipulate the block, we'll need to use our tools. There are four tools to choose from, which will allow us to change the block. The select option will allow you to grab and drag the block so you can move it around the floor like you're playing air hockey. Next, select the move option. There will be six arrows shooting out of the block. The green arrows represent the Y axis, which is up and down. The red arrows are the X axis, which is left to right. And the blue arrows are the Z axis, which is front to back. You can select an arrow and pull on them like you're playing tug of war. The move option is important when you want to move parts along the same axis. Now let's take another quick break to practice moving the block along the X, Y, and Z axis. All right, now that you've slayed that, I'm going to show you how to turn this small block into a bigger block. To do this, you'll need to click the... Come on, come on, let me hear it. Yup, you guessed it, the scale option. You will see the arrows turn to spheres with each color representing the same axis as before. Grab the blue sphere and drag it. You will see the block getting wider. The red sphere will make it longer and the green sphere will make it taller. <laughs> Look, you got there before I told you, didn't you? Look at you, so smart. Again, press pause to take some time to play around with the height, width, and length of the block. So let's make our block bigger and wider. And once we have done that, let's change the angle of it. Select the rotate option, and you will see the spheres change to rings. Now, grab the blue ring and turn it so the block looks like a wall. See how easy it is to change the position of our parts? Well, one block is okay, but we wanna build an entire futuristic obby. So how do I make more than one block? It's really simple. Think of what you do on a computer if you wanted to take text you've already written and repeat it. What do you do? What do you do? That's right. 
You simply use your copy and paste shortcuts. Select the part, select copy, then paste. To do this, you can use your keyboard shortcuts of Command C or Command V on a Mac or Control C and Control V on a PC. Now we have two walls, but I can only see them from this angle. I want a 360 view though. So to change the view of your parts, you can click on the semi-transparent cube in the upper right hand corner. It is labeled with different views such as front, back, left, right, top, and bottom. Now that we have two parts, let's add some color to one of them. Select a wall and go to the color option on our home tab. Press the down arrow to select a color. There are a lot of shapes, colors, and materials to choose from. So let's take it a step further and change the material of the first block. Click the material manager next to color. A new tab will open below the current one with options to choose many types of materials. I want to change the first block to a brick wall. Select the brick wall option and press apply to selected parts. You should see the surface of the material change. You can also change the color of the material with the color options. Now go ahead and play around with the colors and material options to create unique parts. Don't rush, your girl is patient. So now that we've learned the basics of how to move around, add parts, change their color and surface materials, let's start putting parts together, AKA let's start building the world. Our goal is to create level one of our multi-level futuristic obby. If we refer back to our storyboard, level one should be a big city filled with tall buildings and smoggy pollution. Let's start by creating the ground we walk on. So as you can see, the base plate template has a spawning point, which is the starting point that the player appears from. I'm going to drag the spawning point to the corner of the platform. Then I'll select one of the blocks we've created and drag it to the same area of the spawning base plate. Next, I'll scale the length and width to cover a quarter of the platform. A polluted city is filled with grays and hazy brown colors, so I'll change the color of the block to match. Now that we have our floor, let's add other parts to the city using the other parts we learned about earlier in this video. Spheres, wedges, and cylinders to create an obstacle course. After completing the obstacle course, I can click play to test out my obby. You always wanna make sure that players can actually make it across the obstacle course and that everything is appropriately spaced out and sized correctly. You do not want to build an obstacle course that's impossible because that's no fun for anyone. That doesn't mean it isn't challenging though. As you can see, once you press play, your character will appear from the spawn base plate and you can use your arrow keys to move around to jump from object to object using the space bar. Wow. We did that. <laughs> I like how this is going so far. You really did that all in one video. This seems like the perfect place to stop for right now. So we'll go to File, Save to Roblox. This option will save the obby in Roblox Studio and on your online account. That way you still have it when you are ready to come back and build level two. You made a basic obby or one level in the complex obby. In the next video, we will add advanced obstacles and checkpoints to level two of the obby and make it even more difficult for our player to get across. <laughs> <laughs>